University of Calumet's biology graduate program because they offer this BS, MS, or 4 plus 1 program. And so what that offers students is that as, a, as an undergrad, you are required to take a certain number of 300 level or above courses. So those of the junior, senior, and even some graduate level courses. But when you're an undergrad, you realize quickly that not many of the classes are 300 level or 400 level. Pr predominantly, most of them are 500 level or your graduate courses. So you find yourself taking four or five graduate courses when you're still an undergrad. And so what this program offers you is that it allows you to transfer over some of those graduate cred credits that you were required to take as an undergrad and use them towards your master's degree. So that way you can expedite the process of getting your graduate degree in one year. And it also helps you by not having the student have to load up on all of those graduate courses in one year. You can, take, you can take your time, you can really focus on each class individually, and really learn this stuff, not just cramming right before the exam. So it's actually better for the student as well. Well, the reason why I Purdue, chose Purdue Cal instead of Purdue West Lafayette or one of the other, like Michigan State, you know, the bigger schools for my graduate degree, for my master's degree, I really love the small classroom sizes. I love the small student to teacher ratio. You only have, at most, 30 students to one faculty member in each class. And so you can really get that one-on-one -on -one assistance. They're always willing to answer questions outside of class and office hours. And the best part about it is the teachers know who you are. You're not just a number on a roster. You're an actual person. They develop some type of rapport with you. They know what you're capable of. They know if you're motivated. And so they will send job opportunities, internship opportunities, and most importantly, research opportunities your way. And it's all dependent on how you perform in the class. And it's because they know you as an individual. There's a lot of research opportunities with the faculty. Every faculty member does research either on campus or off campus. And it's just determining which research field I want to get into. If it's more the physiology field, neurobiology with Dr. Fanel, if it's the molecular work with Dr. Sang, immunology research with Dr. with Dr. Zimmer and Dr. Sarek. As an undergrad, I did a little bit of research experience with Dr. Sang, uh, testing PCR primers that were then be that would then be used as molecular markers in E. coli. And so that gave me a head start into looking into other research opportunities. And they, the faculty members knew that I was in the lab every day. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I was motivated. I was committed. And so when this opportunity came for the Howard Hughes Medical Institute undergraduate research program, uh, they chose me because they knew what I was capable of. They knew that I would be committed to the project. I wouldn't slack off. And Purdue University Calumet would be represented accurately. My career goal is to become a medical research assistant, a medical research scientist, something in the research field, whether it's pharmaceutical, medical, genetics, in a lab somewhere. Not just a technician, but actively doing research towards bettering some, someone's life. That's my, goal. That's my massive career goal. We'll see if it happens. But this program allows you to work with faculty in the research setting, actually working towards either a thesis master's or a non-thesis master's. You can do just a little bit of research with the non-thesis, or you can go all out and try for that thesis with, an, with a, one of the faculty members. And there we have a, gr a vast majority of fa faculty members with different areas of research. The labs are smaller, just like that small student-to-teacher ratio. So the labs that you, have, that you have to take, such as cytogenetics or common DNA, you actually are doing the lab yourself. It's not that you're reading a book and learning the applications of a technique. You're actively doing the technique in the lab. You're learning the instrumentation. And you're learning how to apply these techniques, how to, uh, how to use these instruments in industry, in the real world. It's not just in a classroom setting. It's challenging. As an undergrad, like I've said, all students are required to take a certain number of those graduate level courses. And you get to feel really quickly that they're tedious, they're time consuming, and they're very informative. It's a lot of material in a very short amount of time, but if you do the work, if you study hard, it's so much information. And it's going to help you in your career no matter what. And the best part of it is, is that we have that small student-to-teacher ratio. So if you have any questions about the material, because it is a lot and it is very in-depth, you can always go to them during their office hours or, more importantly, during the class because they're so small. They're actively asking questions. Like, do you have any questions? Are you sure you don't have any questions? What if I ask you this? What, what would the answer be to this? So they're constantly keeping you active in the learning process. You're not just allowed to zone off and be on Facebook during the class. They want you to pay attention and really learn the material so that way you show Purdue Cal in its best light when you go to your career. They're very committed to their research, especially uh, Dr. Zimmer I know is actively doing research. Dr. Sarek, Dr. Sang is retiring this year, but he's in his 80s and he's still being published. I mean, he is one exceptional, yeah, he is an exceptional man. Uh, Dr. Crichton's being published. He has new papers coming out of his lab almost every other year because of all the graduate students that work for him. 
And there's an area of research for any student, whether it be plant ecology, animal ecology, neurobiology or developmental biology to immunology and micro. There's a field for any type of biologist if you want to be doing research during your master's degree. I would highly recommend my friends and family, anybody, to come to PUC. And it's because it's just that small student-to-teacher ratio. It's so helpful and so beneficial, not only in academics, because you can ask them questions during class, after class, and office hours. They're always more than willing to help you. But also with your career, with your pre-professional degree, with anything that you have outside of academics. Still dealing with career opportunities, obviously. It's not a counseling center. But if you go over there, if you go to the, during their office hours, they'll give you ample opportunities. They'll tell you job opportunities, internship opportunities. They'll make everything known to you if you're willing to work and if you're a motivated student. And they'll know that by that small student-to-teacher ratio. They'll know which students are committed and they'll know which ones aren't. And so they will give those opportunities to obviously those that are well-deserved.